you finally decided to get your teeth straight, you went to your orthodontist and after he did his analysis, apparently you need teeth extractions. As a sane individual, you did not like that, so you went to check if in this day and age we still extract teeth. There is definitely a growing movement on social media where apparently orthodontists don't extract teeth anymore. I am Dr. Vladan Stojanovic, a specialist in orthodontics and in this video I'm hoping to explain why your orthodontist might think so and should you get a second opinion, etc. Let's dive in. In short, yes, unfortunately yes, all the world leading specialists are still extracting teeth for orthodontics. However, the push on social media seems to be winning out. Why is this a problem? The problem is that patients these days are very well informed. They are searching for alternatives and treatment plans on their own. They know what they want. This is a problem when the search engine, the algorithm, is spitting out information that is just plain unscientific, it's wrong. What then happens is that patients are asking their doctors for treatments that are not in their best interest. Doctors as well are incentivized, whether they want to admit it or not, to give the patient the treatment, to sell the treatment that they might not even believe in, but the patient demands it. I wish, I wish there was a, like a big name, a Harvard professor with a huge following and audience and a huge authority that was speaking against them, but there isn't. So all I can do with my limited, extremely limited reach is make this video for you, for a curious uh, viewer who managed to stumble upon it and try to explain both sides of the argument. Uh, first things first, I have to drill this in. Uh, the orthodontists who are marketing themselves as only doing non-extraction treatments. You have to understand that in our small circle they are literally considered bottom of the barrel. They are the worst orthodontists. They don't know any better. They can't do complicated mechanics. That, that's all they know. They like that uh, theory that we are saving teeth and they are just doing that. Their kind of orthodontics is the simplest. I have no incentive to push extractions with the patients. If I thought it was the best, I would just do it. Do it with everybody. But it's not, unfortunately. And part of the reason that there is no pushback is because nobody is taking them seriously. And what, as in every field, who are the leading experts? Leading experts are 50, 60, 70 years old. So of course they are ignoring social media. Marketing has huge incentive to push this. Just think about it. Selling magic bean solutions, selling courses to orthodontists in thousands of dollars, selling equipment which doesn't work selling a new kind of bracket, something new is coming all the time, something new that has to be explained how it works, something new that will help you do what the patient wants and it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All of them after a few years in um, circulation are shown in research that they either did nothing, it did harm or similar. Magic beans solutions, that's all it is. Consider the other thing. If you have a bad treatment plan, a treatment after a year or two or three or five needs to be repeated. A big company who is selling material, a big clinic, has a new patient, a new set of brackets to sell, a new set of arches to sell. You need treatment again. Why are we extracting teeth? Usually to solve a bigger problem. So now, if it doesn't work, or you even cause a bigger problem, they already sold you the treatment in the form of brackets and arches and everything that goes with that. Now, they're selling you a solution as well. They can sell you these days, thankfully there are solutions for everything. They can sell you implants for lost teeth, they can sell you crowns, they can sell you another surgery to, to fix your periodontium and gingiva. This is all in their best interest. There's more money for everyone, 
from the manufacturer to your dentist for everyone but you should you get the second opinion by all means get the second opinion but just please keep in mind that just because you might like the second opinion more doesn't mean it is the correct one doesn't mean it is the better treatment plan when you go to a medical doctor and he gives you a treatment plan that involves surgery you get a second opinion he gives you a pill does that mean that that treatment plan is better who knows here you don't know either just because you like one treatment plan better doesn't mean it is the correct one what is social media telling us we used to do it it's old school now we have new tech it's old school listen i'm 34 years old orthodontic specialist i'm keeping pretty current with all the latest technology i'm certified with invisalign i do mini implants i i'm, I'm keeping up and i'm i'm considered old school at this point let me tell you another thing angle the father of modern orthodontics he died in 1930 his school almost never he was completely against extracting teeth now after him came his student Tweed him on the other hand his school was extracting premolars like, like nobody's business they were extracting them all the time then there was another school and another school and another school like the oldest one is non-extraction school of orthodontics extracting teeth is not old non-extractions are older the idea of non-extractions is older and the other main thing technology that we have newer technology now that allows us not to extract teeth this is this is crap uh, the new technology is not changing our genetics it's not changing our biology if anything our uh, biology is changing in a way where we have too many teeth in our jaws it's changing in the bad direction of course you know you know the whole spiel we eat soft food etc bad habits but it is happening we have too many teeth in our jaws when if you're talking about biology biology is always the limiting factor for us orthodontists explicitly we are talking here about grown patients so not the kids not the teenagers with grown patients we're always limited by their biology the amount of bone we have in this direction in this direction we can't push the teeth outside the bone well we can that's what they're doing that's the problem you can always push the teeth out of the bone and create enough space that that's not in the best interest of patient that's not a good solution what technology is changing has nothing to do with our treatment plans with what we get from diagnostics and what we want to do it's not even making the treatment that much quicker so if we tell you that it's going to last a year and a half usually the reason for that is that that's how long it takes for that tooth movement to occur it's not because we can't push it any faster why well because as the teeth is moving in the bone the new bone the bone is destroyed on the one side and formed on the other side we have to wait for that process to happen you can't take a hammer and move a teeth faster there's nothing new yes it's making our jobs easier so it's making making my job more comfortable it's making it easier for me spend maybe a bit less time with the patient also it's allowing orthodontists basically to have so many assistants working under them they don't have to do anything these days they're just giving their assistant that's why you see your orthodontist for 18 seconds and everything else is being done by an assistant it's not ideal hopefully you're paying much less for that kind of service but that is what is happening because the treatment plans these days are becoming so simple orthodontist doesn't have to do it himself it's optimal but not necessary another thing that technology is pushing forward is aesthetics that's why you have aligners these days very popular that's why you have ceramic acrylic clear brackets 
Nobody's gonna tell you that ceramic brackets or aligners are better than brackets. They're not, but they're getting close. That kind of thing we're getting by technology. But the treatment plans is not changing. Your genetics, your biology, the amount of bone, none of that is going to change with technology at least without making a huge medical leap forward. For now, we are stuck here. Another thing that is often included in non-extraction treatment plans is extraction of wisdom teeth. And it's never considered an extraction. How is it not an extraction? It's a more invasive extraction that is very often done surgically. It's still an extraction. Whether you're doing it by default because you're not extracting teeth and you're just extracting wisdom teeth because you don't need them, or you're doing that for a specific reason, for example, because they're never going to grow out, or your plan is to push the teeth back, which is sometimes an option. However, to distalize the teeth, to move everything back, that is the complicated procedure. That is something on the level of closing space correctly after extractions. But you are still limited there by the bone. If I'm planning to move the teeth back, I needed eight wisdom teeth to already be in the jaw. Why? Because I needed that bone. If there is no room for them to, to grow out, where am I going to push everything back? There is no bone there. They will, of course, sell you that they are pushing the teeth back. They will even push the mini implants there and start to distalize everything. There, there is nowhere to move. How you will get your teeth to fit is just by uncontrollable expansion of the arches, not the palate, and by protruding teeth forward, pushing them out of the bone this way as well. Why are we extracting teeth? Why is your orthodontist recommending teeth extractions? The short answer is, as we said, biology. The amount of bone that you have. We have to work under the constraints that we have after you're done growing, at least. If everything is done correctly, all the measurements are done correctly, then he knows the exact parameters within which he has room to work with. We are extracting teeth to save all the others. We are extracting teeth not because we have fun doing it. We are extracting teeth because you have an overjet, for example. We have to pull the teeth back and we have no room the other way. We are extracting teeth to get your underbite under control. So you don't bite like a bulldog. So we extract lower teeth to pull them under the upper ones. If you have TMJ problems, we might need to extract teeth to get the correct bite. The treatment plan with extractions is much harder, much longer. I, I don't extract teeth. I have no incentive to sell you extractions. I have no incentive to push this kind of treatment. The price of the treatment, in my case, is same for every single patient, whatever I'm doing. We extract some teeth to save all the others. That's why we do extractions. To fix bigger problems. Please let me know if this video was helpful to you. Like the video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I will try to answer them or make even a broader video on these kind of topics. I will see you next time.